We're here today with Tony Lacavera, Chairman of Global Live, and we just uh, have been following the CRTC's uh, last few days, last few, uh, the week and a half about their foreign ownership hearing, and just want to ask him a few questions, mainly surrounding the experience of what he went through and the outlook, because the last few days were really based around the control, the debt, the financing of what is actually going on. Everything. With, I mean, everything. They, they hit us on every point. Right. Now, you uh, or Global Eye have positioned yourselves to be the new wireless carrier in Canada. People are really excited about it. Um, the main people who are opposed are the incumbents, Bell Rogers and Tellus, saying that you do not have what it takes. Well, you know, absolutely. And I mean, the funny thing about the way this thing went, firstly, the CRTC conducts these control and ownership reviews uh, as a standard, you know, normal course uh, approach for the CRTC. Every telecommunications company and media company in Canada has to comply with the foreign ownership rules. The rules are well established. There's tons of precedents on these rules. So uh, the incumbents have made a very big deal about uh, this control and ownership review and uh, made a big deal out of it because they really they really don't want to see a new competitor coming right. into the marketplace. And it's right. funny to see how the, the hearings happened was the, the commission permits interested parties or interested citizens to participate as interveners. And, Curiously, in our proceedings, the only interveners were the incumbents, Bell, Tellus, and Rogers. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, there weren't too many. In fact, there weren't any uh, Canadians showing up saying, hey, we don't want to see Global Live offering a new choice in wireless. The possible customers, right? <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so it's just people who are leading the wireless, right? Why, why the carriers? So in, in regards to your launch, what will happen with that? Well, we're absolutely undeterred. We're moving ahead. Uh, we've got a great team on the ground now building the network. Uh, the commission, uh, the CRTC, has committed to give us their decision on or before October 23rd, which is fantastic. So that doesn't affect our planned launch timeline of mid-November. Mid now, as I said to you earlier, Ian, we won't launch the network until we're very comfortable that the service is going to be solid, the uh, offering is ready, the network is ready. Uh, so we're you know, going full speed ahead in those five launch cities, Toronto, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, and Vancouver. But uh, we're going to do extensive testing and uh, make sure that the network is very solid before we put an offering out there. So we may delay the launch, but it won't because of the incumbents or because of the CRTC. It's fantastic. It's amazing. So uh, when it comes to what a Canadian is looking for, Wind Mobile will offer it. Uh, you will position yourself as a new wireless carrier in Canada. And from our perspective, reading what's on a website and other websites as well, people are incredibly excited to see what you're going to bring to market. Oh, we're looking forward to it. We're really excited too. We're working really hard right now to, to make the launch happen. Uh, the launch is going to happen sometime over the next uh, two to three or four months, depending on, on the, the network readiness in each one of those cities. We're really excited about it. We're working hard to make it happen, and uh, we're really happy to see the, uh, the CRTC conducting a thorough control and ownership review so we can put this question of globalized control and ownership you know, to rest once and for all and uh, let us move ahead offering Canadians a new great choice in wireless. Now, what happens if the CRTC comes back and says no? Because in, Industry Canada said yes, you have the green light, but what happens if the CRTC says no? Ian, I'm not even going to entertain that one because I know the CRTC is going to give us their approval. They've requested a lot of changes. They may request further changes, but I know the CRTC is, is uh, interested in a uh, new competition coming into the wireless right. market. Right. They just want to ensure that we comply with their rules, and as we've said, we were very comfortable complying, and we were we fully intend to comply. Uh, we just want, and we're happy they're going to make this decision on October 23rd, so we can get out in the marketplace uh, on our planned launch timeline and offer Canadians more choice. Which is essentially why this, the auction came into being. Yeah, right. look, I mean, Industry Canada already gave us their approval. Right. Uh, they made some changes as well. Uh, you know, the CRTC is making changes, and uh, a lot of this, uh, again, is, a, is a, to a certain extent a negotiated outcome. Of okay. course, uh, as shareholders and investors, we want. Uh, to do certain things, and the, the CRTC wants to ensure the rules are enforced, which is, and the incumbents are really the ones creating a, creating all the fireworks here. This yep. is not in any way an adversarial review with CRTC. Uh, the incumbents are making it an adversarial review, uh, to the best of their ability, but I'm pleased to say that we're through it, and we're moving ahead. Well, from a Canadian consumer or business standpoint, we uh, are excited to see what's coming up, and will uh, be watching the every move as this unfolds. So certainly uh, congratulate you over the last couple of weeks, especially the last few days Thank getting you. through it. And we'll, uh, we'll follow up soon. Thanks very much, Ian. We'll see you soon. Thank you.